Hello and welcome to this video series. In this video series, we are going to learn about Dapper. So let's start and first understand what is Dapper. Dapper is an open source object relation mapping library. We call it ORM library also. And it is basically used to map the C sharp objects to database objects. Meaning if you're getting some data from database and you want to map that data to your C sharp objects, you can use ORMs. So Dapper is also an ORM and that is an open source. And this library allows developers quickly and easily access data from databases without need to write the tedious code. We will understand this with an example, but let's move on and see what Dapper can do for us. Dapper allows you to execute raw SQL queries, map results to objects, and execute stored procedures and we can do other things also with it and it is available as a NuGet package on this slide you can see some of the features of dapper dapper is lightweight and fast making it an ideal choice for application that requires low latency and high performance it is very simple but it is very powerful orm that we can use with any .NET language such as C Sharp. That enables developers to quickly and easily map query results from ADO.NET data readers to instances of business objects. We can quickly change our database result to our C Sharp objects or we can map our data to C Sharp classes or C Sharp lists. It has excellent support for both asynchronous and synchronous databases queries and batching multiple queries together into a single call. Additionally, Dapper supports parameterized query to support help protect against SQL injection attacks. Basically, with Dapper, you can minimize the risk of SQL injection attacks in your website. So here is an example of code that we need to write without Dapper. Meaning if we use a plain old ADO.NET code, what we need to do in that case. So you can, as you can see here, this code is quite long and let's see what is happening here. First, we are declaring a SQL query. Then we are creating a list of product and then we are creating a connection using a connection string. And then we are opening our connection and we are preparing a command. We are preparing an SQL command. To that SQL command, we are passing the SQL query and the connection. Once we have our command ready, we are executing that command using execute reader. And once we have received the data in our reader, we need to write this many code to fetch the data from our reader to a product object. And finally, we are adding those product to our products list. So this is what we have to do if we are not using Dapper. But let's see how Dapper can help us to minimize this code. Basically, with Dapper, we can just use one line of code and complete this whole mapping. We can call dot query method and we can pass the object here, meaning which type of data we are receiving and we can pass our SQL query within it and finally convert that to a list using dot to list method. Now let's go to Visual Studio and try to replicate this scenario. So what I have done here, right? I have created a table products in my demo DB database. And after that, I have inserted some rows in my products table, right? And if I query my table, select star from products, I will get some 11 rows from it. And I have the product IDs, product name, and all other details are also available here. Now let's create an MVC project and try to get this data to our application using ADO.NET. So let's open up Visual Studio. Let's create a new project. I will select the MVC template. This one where it says ASP.NET Core Web Application Model View Controller. So select this template and click on Next. Here you need to give a project name. So let me say Product Manager and I will click on next and I will click on create. Once you click on create, your MVC project will get created. And guys, in this video series, we are going to focus only on Dapper. I'm not going to go in details in concepts of MVC application. 
okay so let's create a new controller so i will right click on controller and i will click on add and i will say controller i will say mbc controller empty and i will click on add here i will name my controller as product controller and i will click on add now let's add a connection string in our app setting so that we can connect to database and fetch the data so i have added my connection string here this is my host name this is my database name now let's come back to our product controller here let's create a class product so let me open up the models folder right click on this and click on add and add a class i will name it product okay now add the properties which will be same as the table columns so basically we need to add these columns as properties in our product class so i have added the all the properties here and make sure guys you are adding the property name same as the column name which is specified in the table okay once that is done now let's go back to visual studio go to your product controller and create a constructor here and inject the i configuration and create a connection string variable here so that we can get the connection string from the configuration and finally get the connection string in the constructor so i have used get connection strings method and i am getting the default connection right now we have our connection string now let's add a view that will show us the list of products so right click on your controller and click on add view here you need to select the second option that is reserve view and click on add here you need to select which kind of view you want to create so i want to create a view with template of list because i want to render the list of products right here let's select the model like i want to fetch products right so i will select product class here and click on add okay our view is created now let's go back to our controller class here now let's fetch the data from database and send it to this view first let's create an sql query okay so this is my sql query now let's create a list of products in which we will store our products now let's create an sql connection and to create an sql connection you need to install some package that is nothing but the sql client so right click on dependencies and select manage NuGet packages here you need to go to browse and search for sql client and you can select the first one microsoft.data.sql client click on that and click on install now package is installed in your project now i can create a connection and within the connection we need to pass the connection string that is nothing but that we have declared here our connection is ready now we need to open this connection once connection is open you need to create an sql command so let's create the sql command and in the command you need to pass two parameters one is the sql query that you want to execute and second one is the sql connection so we have the sql connection here okay so now our sql command is also ready now let's execute this command using execute reader method so i am using execute reader to execute this command and once we have executed this command we will get all the data in the reader and basically we need to iterate through the reader and get all the products one by one so let's write that logic to get all the data from this reader so here is the code here i am iterating through the reader and creating a new product object and adding that product in the products list once product list is ready i can send this product list to my view and you can notice here how i'm getting the data from the reader i need to specify the column name and based on that i need to get that particular property so if i have 10 columns i need to specify that code mapping 10 times and then i will get the data as you can already see this is a bit tedious but don't worry in some time we will install dapper in our project and we will reduce this piece of code but first see if this piece of code is working or not 
let's run this application our application is running now let's navigate to product controller you can see i am able to get all the products from my database on the screen right so our code is working and this is the adio.net code you can see so many things we need to do just to execute this simple select query now let's install dapper in our project and try to eliminate this piece of code with just one line okay so let's stop our application and right click on dependencies again and go to manage nuget packages here let's search dapper this time and you need to install the first package that has 431 million downloads click on install and within few seconds this will get installed now you have dapper in your project now we can get rid of this code okay so basically we need to create a connection first and once we have our connection what we can say connection dot query and i can specify which kind of data i am expecting from my query because i am expecting product data so i will specify product here and after that i need to send my sql query so this is my sql query and after that i can just use to list method to convert this data to a list and now i don't even need this right now you can see we have reduced our code to only these many lines if i run my program now now let's again navigate to product you can see i am getting the same data back but this time we only have to write only these many lines that is because of the dapper so using dapper you can reduce the amount of code that you have to write just to get data from database and that's it for this video guys in the next video we will continue our discussion and we will execute some different kind of queries with dapper